And so, the Paris 2024 Summer Olympics has officially begun. So, mind you about the fact that we are playing the Beijing 2008 Olympic video game, but I'll explain more about that if we somehow get this Let's Play started. So, hey, what is up ladies and gentlemen, it is I am the one and only Silver the Hedgehog here, and I am from the likes of the Mexi Toys videos here. And ladies and gentlemen, we'll present to you our next new Let's Play, and this time we're about to be hitting back onto Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Game Series, and this time we are now tackling through the DS version of Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Games. Now, unlike the Wii version, which did originally came out in 2007, right? Well, in the DS version, it came out about a few months later, until in 2008. Specifically, the beginning of 2008, which is roughly about six months before the actual Summer Olympics, which does manage to take place in Beijing 2008, in China. So, as a result, because I already know about the fonts, the location of Beijing. So, because of that, though, yeah, you get the idea for this point. So, anyways, let's go ahead and create our file. So, unlike the Wii version, it does manage to have four save slots, which that could be also applies for uh, the Olympic Winter Games in Vancouver 2010 on the Wii, alongside with London 2012 Olympic Games on the Wii as well. Although, as far as I'm aware, that in Mario and Sonic get at the Olympic Games on the DS only has uh, three save slots this time, whilst unlike the Olympic Winter Games on DS, and say applies with London 2012 on the 3DS, that both of those games do have uh, two save slots, whilst unlike Rio 2016, um, has none of those. So because of that though, I'll talk more about that during the course of the forms of how in fact that. Now, the reason why we've decided able to do the DS version of Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Games, as far as Let's Play goes, is that, as you already know, uh, Paris Olympics 2024 has officially begun, about the fact that no matter what though, on the first day, that we're about to be uh, experiencing the opening ceremony, so that's the reason why we've decided able to actually go for this particular Let's Play of this particular game right here. Because unfortunately though, uh, Mario and Sonic at the Paris 2024 Olympic Games has not officially been announced or hasn't been uh, came reality. So that's why about the fact that we've decided to go a bit backwards in the past. So as a result, we can able to actually see the huge comparison between both the console version and the portable handheld version. So because of that though, now, do you guys even remember back in Journey Forms event 2016 that we did originally did done the Wii version of Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Games, right? Jeez, it's been like, uh, let's just say, eight years ago right now. And as a matter of fact, while looking back on it though, we had so many uh, views on the Wii version of Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Games, as a matter of fact. I don't know what it is though, maybe it's because of nostalgia factor or something like that? It could be a possibility, I guess, so... Obviously about the fact that on the Wii version, we only tackle through one mode on that particular Let's Play, and that's what it appears to be on Circuit Mode. So, we figured that on the DS version this time, we'll pretty much go for the exact same ordeal. So basically though, as you can tell, the main focus of this Let's Play is of course, Circuit Mode, that we are once again going to be competing in certain events. So, for instance, from the start though, is about the fact, as you can tell, we only got started with the forms of Beginner's Class, just like the Wii version, and there was also the Free Circuit, which I'll show this off in all for later, and as you can tell, we're going to be going for the exactly same circuits as the Wii version, except that the event selections are actually a lot different this time. And some of them we actually have not seen on the Wii version. So, some events are pretty much exclusive to the DS version. So, anyways though, before we get into more details about that though, as you can tell, we're about to get started on the first circuit in this version of the game, which is of course, Mercury Circuit. And as far as the character roster, as far as I'm concerned, that uh, basically though, it feels remarkably similar to the Wii version, except there's one missing character, and that's of course the Miis, because the Miis are only existence on the console version. So because of that though, so as you can see, we actually have ourselves four different types with four characters each. So we have the power types, we have Knuckles, Bowser, Factor the Crocodile, and Wardior. And all around characters, we have Mario, Amy, Luigi, and Blaze. 
and speed types we have Sonic, Daisy, Shadow and Yoshi. And finally skill types we have Peach, Tails, Waluigi and Dr. Eggman. So because of that though, yeah, what I will do will select Mario to start with, just like the forms of how it does on the Wii version. So now, unlike the Wii version, that that version heavily utilizes motion controls, well, on the DS version, well, I'll explain more about that in a second, because much like the Wii version, before you start the forms of the circuit up, you can actually have an option to choose use or don't use, which means about the fact that depending on what position you're in, like for instance, I'm going to be using the special token equipped, so either way, this is how the controls goes on the first event we're going to be jump into is 100 meters. So basically though, you have to use the touch screen for the majority of certain events. So for instance, in order to able to actually do a charge up uh, boost, or specifically if you try to start up the race, you have to hold down the touch screen and when it go usually appears. Obviously though, you have to swipe the touch screen onto the right and then you have to like swipe you know, the touch screen back and forth between left and right. So, some people might not like the con the control scheme like this, but I will try my best able to give this a shot, because I will admit it though right away, I'm still pretty much used to on the Wii version a lot more, just because obviously though, it requires me a lot of workouts, which as a result, yeah, I'm just gonna have to able to keep on swiping my bottom screen and hope for the best. I mean, granted, this is the first event in the whole entire version of the game already, so, uh, for the most part, though, as far as I'm aware, that whenever we get to the later events, that, uh, some of them are actually pretty easy, some of them are actually, like, hit and miss, and some of them are actually pretty tricky and difficult, but either way, though, so yeah, there's the replay, uh, thing on, uh, 100 meter dash, and somehow we ended up in first place, so, now as you can tell, Unlike the Wii version, where a certain amount of players are actually like 8 players for some events, whilst in the DS version, it always has to be 4 players, because it's obviously because of the handheld limitations. So, now as you can see, since I'm in first place, this means, since as you know, that we somehow used the special token uh, earlier ago, this means if I was in first place, for example, that actually gives me double of the amount of points. Whilst if I don't use that particular special token, it obviously gives me 10 points. But if I somehow use that special token to begin with, that gives me 20 points. So, at least assuming depending on what position you're in. So, that's something worth classifying for noticing this. Just like the console version, basically. So, uh... Anyway, so here we go on to the next event, which takes place in Long Jump. So, unlike the Wii version though, you have to be able to do a lot of motion controls basically, that in order to be able to try to run up, you have to quickly waggle the Wii Remote and Nunchuck together, whilst in, when if you come towards the forms that specific jump, you have to quickly flick the Wii Remote, not too hard by the way, but just lightly, so just in case you get yourselves a good jump distance. In here though, you have to use the touch screen this time around, meaning about the fact you have to bring your stylus out at all times, just in case, no matter what though, if you're able to try to run up, and then if you try to jump, you have to able to flick at the correct angle, so uh, either way, but before you do that actually, there is also another useful thing, and that's what appears to be the microphone, which, as a result, much like the forms of how it does it on Mario Party DS, that uh, basically does about the fact that the microphone are basically just utilized for the sake of clapping to able to cheer on the crowds or something, so either way, oh, there goes the first jump, oh, really, okay, that was a good start. Huh, we got ourselves our first foul, so as a result, I think it's clearly because I couldn't judge the actual specific uh, movement of what's going on with that particular foul line right there, so uh, yeah, that was kind of my fault. But luckily though, we were able to actually have uh, two tries left, whilst unlike in uh, Tokyo 2020 on the Switch, basically though, for whatever reason, it just gives me two tries as opposed, as opposed to usual three, so... Well, to be more specifically with the triple jump, more like, so... But anyways, as you probably already know about the fact that, well, as you probably already expect, that today's day is, of course, the OSD 26th of July today, and... Oh, really? I got another vowel again. Oh, that's a bit of a ludicrous. So, anyways, as you probably already know, that, uh, obviously, today is the first day of Paris Olympics 2024 today. Now, I would have liked able to explain some specific details about this, though, 
But I'm afraid to tell you we're going to have to wait until a couple of days time. Especially because, you know, we currently on to the forms of the opening ceremony as far as I'm usually concerned. In fact, let me know in the comments down below for the question of the day. Are you guys are about to be watching the Paris Olympics 2024? Oh, come on! My flickering does not seem able to register. Ah, uh, there goes our miserable results of long jump. I'm guessing it's probably because I'm still pretty much used to with the Wii emote when it comes to flicking it gently, so... Ah, oh, that's a bit of annoying, but at the very least though, currently we are actually on second place. So, however though, just like the Wii version though, if you ended up in uh, second, third, or fourth for that particular circuit, uh, you would not claim the trophy, whilst if you do come in first place, obviously though, we were able to get ourselves our glorious trophy, so... Hopefully we're able to get our massive comeback as soon as we get into the final event on Mercury Circuit, and this is obviously Hammer Throw, so... And this time around though, we have to use the touchscreen this time, and because of that though, we have to continuously try to make certain circle spins, and then once the estimation mark actually shows up, it's your chance to able to release the touchscreen and let the actual hammer throw fly by. So, yeah, that's essentially how this works. Although, unlike the uh, the 3DS game, which appears to be both Mario and Sonic at the London 2012 Olympic Games, alongside with Rio 2016 as well, basically though, for whatever reason, they decided able to turn that particular uh, sport into a jar of sensing controls, which, believe me, is going to be a little bit more cumbersome to deal with, which as a result, again, I'll talk more about the forms of their brief history of able to experiencing the handheld versions of Mario and Sonic uh, Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Games series. So, I apologize for that particular tongue twist in the end, folks, but that's just clear because I was super duper excited to see how uh, certain events actually plays out for the likes of the Paris Olympics, basically. So, either way, though, yeah, as I was saying before about the fact that since I you know, did miserably on uh, long jump, basically. Uh, yeah, let me know in the comments down below for the question of the day. Are you guys are expected to be watching the, the majority of the Paris Olympics 2024? Because, well, I'd like to hear your thoughts. So, oh wow, that was actually a really good throw right there. And to make matters even much more impressive than that, is that I get the strong feeling I might able to actually get myself my new record right there. So let's just watch this little instant replay. And wow, look at that. That was actually very impressive for sure. But uh, either way, um, oh wow, we got a new world record. Oh, that's actually very impressive. So that was actually our first new world record for this let's play so far. I know for a fact that we ended up on the third event as opposed to the first event because I do remember that uh, Duffy Duck did somehow manage to able to pull off the first new world record in 100 meter dash event. So yeah, that was actually quite impressive on his part. So, and it's also worth noting for, let me know in the comments down below for the question of the day as well. Have you guys ever experienced the DS version of Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Games before? Because I think Sonic told me something like this, is that Sonic did explain to me that he first ever experienced this version was back in 2008, in just before the actual Olympics in Beijing 2008 was about to be gone. So, either way though, that's the stuff it's worth noting for, and then again, I'll try my best able to explain more about these specific details later down the road. I mean, for the most part though, it's just about the fact that it's just the first ever day for Paris Olympics 2024 has just begun, you know? So, of course, we're able to actually get ourselves the usual emblems by achieving the new world record alongside with the new Olympic record, if you want to technically count that. So, either way, we became number one on Mercury Circuit. So, yeah, pretty good so far, except on Long Jump, because that was actually pretty miserable. But, exponentially though, much like the Wii version, we will be back for the actual specific events. So, either way, so that pretty much does it for this video right here. So, join me tomorrow for more of Let's Play of Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Games on the DS version. Is that we're going to be moving on to the next circuit, which is, which is uh, Venus Circuit. So, we got swimming, shooting, and table tennis. Okay, so I'll see you guys tomorrow. Later, fellas.